In this tutorial, we'll give you an introduction to adding titles and an intro to working with effects. Let's get started. To add a title is really quick and easy. You just go to File, New, Title. Let's give our title a name and click OK. You'll find all your familiar tools off to the left hand side from your text tools to drawing shapes and alignment type tools. Off to the right hand side are tools that you can use to make adjustments. So let me give you a quick idea how some of this works. To start out, I always like to show what this area up here does because it's unique to the Adobe Premiere Pro Titler. You'll notice that when I bring my mouse over here, it turns into a hot scrub, which allows me to scrub the video. So I can scrub it from right to left and actually see what's going on on the timeline. And this really comes in handy when I want to do things like color pick or set my title up for any particular scene. All you have to do is scrub to that area and start typing. I'll use my arrow tool and position this right where I want it. I also have a collection of title styles at the bottom of the title panel, which allows me to use those styles as they are or to use them as a starting point. I can also make further adjustments by grabbing any of the handles and moving them into position. You'll also notice that as I make adjustments, the properties of the font size and aspect size will change in the title property area. You can also hot scrub over any of the blue numbers by clicking and dragging left to right to change its value. Now, the other thing that comes in handy for me is I like to select my text and then go down to my color here. I can either click on my color, apply a new color, or better yet, I typically will use the color sampler tool and then I might click maybe on his shirt and see how that looks. You'll also notice that it went ahead for that particular style and put an outline text. I can scroll down here to where my outlines are or what we call strokes and I can turn them off or turn them back on and I can even come back in and change the color if I need to. Maybe just turn that to a little bit darker and click OK. And again, I can come over here and make a size adjustment larger or smaller to that particular style as well. Once you come up with a style that you like, you now have an option to create a new style to add to your library and that's really easily done just by going to the menu new style go ahead and give it a name and click OK and you'll notice it just added that style down here to the bottom of your stack. Now at this point, we've done everything we need to do to our title and titles are automatically saved. So I don't have to worry about saving the title. All I have to do is close it and you'll see it appears right here inside my project. And now to apply that title, all I have to do is drag and drop it to the video track two in this particular case and adjust it either longer or shorter depending on how long I want the title to appear. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click my mute button so I don't have to hear the audio and play this back. And that looks pretty good. Now what I might wanna do is go ahead and back this up a little bit, stretch it out, and let's add a cross dissolve effect to that by going over to our effects panel. And I'm gonna type in D-I-S-S -S for dissolve and apply that just like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the side of that dissolve, shorten that up just a little bit and see what the timing looks like at this point. And that looks really good. Now, if you want to make further adjustments to your title, all you have to do is double click on it. It'll open up the titler window for you. And here you're free to make whatever adjustments you want. Once you close the title, you'll notice when I scrub the timeline now, it's actually taken on a new position. Really, really easy and very handy to use. There's another great way to make titles and that's using Photoshop. Let me show you how easy that is. We're gonna start by just deleting this title. We're gonna go to File, New, Photoshop file. It's gonna go ahead and give Photoshop all the information it needs to build me a template. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a name. And you'll see Photoshop is actually displaying the title safe guide area with the blue guide markers. You have complete access to layers and all the magic of Photoshop. I'm just going to go ahead and start with importing a graphic. I'll go to File, Place Embedded, and select my logo that has a transparent background, and then save it. 
and return back to Premiere Pro and you'll see my peak title dot PSD is already imported into the project bin for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop this right where I had the other one and see how this looks. Now that looks okay, but I instantly see it's not exactly in the right position. Now you don't have to go back to Photoshop. All you have to do is double click on the graphic and you'll see you get your handles on the side, which are gonna allow you to change its size. Again, you can hold the shift key down so you maintain your proportions. And you can go ahead and just move that exactly where you want it. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Maybe put this down here and scrub through this and see what it looks like. What I might want to do is make it look like my border is going to go up the side of this logo just before he starts to spin around. At any time, you can return back to Photoshop to make an adjustment on your graphic by simply right mouse clicking on the Photoshop file and selecting Edit in Photoshop. I'll make a simple adjustment by just going to the layer style and adding an outer glow and a drop shadow. I'll click OK and then I'll save the file return back to Premiere Pro and you'll see that the logo has now been updated and shows the glow and the shadow. Next, let's go ahead and animate this graphic coming in from the right side. I'm gonna move my playhead back to the beginning of the clip. I'm gonna double click on the graphic itself and move it off the screen. And you'll notice that I still have my handles here on the side to help me guide this as I animate it. Next, I'm going to flip down the motion control setting and click on position to set a starting keyframe. The next step is to drag the playhead out on the effect control keyframe area to where you want the motion to stop. The easiest way to move the graphic is just to drag it in the program monitor to where you want it to stop. You'll also notice that Premiere Pro added another keyframe for you. Let's play this back. And one of the last things you might want to do to your Photoshop title is go over to your effects panel and grab a cross dissolve and put it right at the beginning. Adjust the cross dissolve by clicking on it and moving it slightly to the left. And let's play that back. And that looks pretty good. And at this point, you should have a general idea how to use Premiere Pro's built-in titler as well as using Photoshop for creating titles.